Today is uh, June 3rd, 1988. Lucien Adams is here. Did you know that they were going to close down? No. No? That no, they came just as a surprise, mm. yeah. We just were told that uh, the mill was closing and that's it. And we were out without a job, without health insurance, with nothing. And at one time in the city of Lawrence, there was about 40,000 people out of work. I like to say that shifting gears put us on the map, which it did quite literally, because we put scholars and residents in six communities around the state. A few years before we launched Shifting Gears, the governor of Massachusetts at the time, Michael Dukakis, developed a plan to create state parks in urban centers which became the Heritage State Parks. The idea was to put a oral historian or folklorist in the Heritage State Parks full time for 18 months. Their task was to work with a committee of volunteers from the community to develop a project which would explore, document, and interpret the impact that the loss of manufacturing had on those communities. What about friends? People say that jobs are the center of the social life. That I had friends in the mill, yes. In fact, one of my friends insisted that I wear her wedding there for my wedding. But after mm. the mills closed, everybody went their own way. The big change has been the uh, uh, evolution of Lawrence into a primarily Latino city. The lack of interpretation of that recent history was a shortcoming of the permanent exhibit. Hola, mi nombre es Sara. Bienvenido a Somos Latinos, nuestro viaje a Lawrence y más. Es una carta de amor para la ciudad de Lawrence. And when creating Somos Latinos, we wanted to put together the best of the city, the best of this new wave of immigrants, because prior to this, each wave of immigrants have come into the city and have made their mark and they have built up businesses, built up traditions, and they've lasted. I mean, I really see the project as kind of carry, both carrying on the legacy of shifting gears and adding something new to the story, and particularly dignifying people. It's the opportunity to restore that dignity by asking people to tell their story and giving it a place of honor in a museum or even in a room with other people. So I like to say Somos Latinos could not have been done in the way it was done without the archives here. We have thousands of photographs through the years. We just feel like if Laurentians are not using our archive, we're not doing it right. So I think very much we're a living archive. I've been here 36 years now in this city. To be able to see things like this, it's not just talking. It's to be able to come and see what people have done. It's, it's so rewarding. and. Again, it makes me hopeful that we can only go from here to something better. I think back to when Somos Latinos first opened, even on its opening day, when it was open to the community. And there was, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> there was such a sense of joy seeing the community walk through and 
and see themselves and see their neighbors and their loved ones. And you don't get that everywhere. Thank <laughs> you.